our students are just going to lap this up. They're just going to love every aspect of it. It's just going to give them so much freedom in the classroom. It's going to give them an opportunity to be creative thinkers, creative problem solvers. They love working in groups. That's going to be a big aspect of it. It's really about them exploring all these different crafts, the experimental side of it, and just having fun with it. And at the same time, they're learning and they don't even realise they're doing it. I'm going to go to the house and 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 I'm going to go to the house. Creative associates are drawn from two particular backgrounds, artists with a practice in education and teachers with a practice in the arts. Basically they will go out into schools who have applied to be part of the Creative Schools initiative and the associate will go out as a consultant really to help them identify what their needs are and shape projects that will happen over the period of an academic year in that school. Over 600 people applied to be a creative associate and out of that I'm one of only 50 people who were chosen for this exciting, groundbreaking role. And it's been so wonderful over the last two days of training because I've got to meet these other like-minded people and to start this journey together. That whole idea of collaborating, not just within schools, but that schools can meet up with each other and that artists can meet up with each other. And that also that you can build up a network outside of the schools, like with institutions or with art galleries, with other schools, etc. We do have a set curriculum where we sometimes feel that we're constrained by and have to stick to. And it's not until we maybe work with a creative person through some other program and we see children learning in other ways and we think, this has something here. We need to create these critical thinkers that are going to be the innovators of our future, but we have to give them the tools necessary to be those creative thinkers. I think my background in architecture could bring an understanding of space, so both tangible space and intangible space. And tangible space, what I mean by that, is space within the school that's already there, that could be used potentially in a more creative way. Then the intangible space, which is probably even more important in creative schools, is to do with a mindset and a space of thinking about creativity and how it can be embedded in school life in an intangible way among the entire school community. I love when you work with a teacher and they have a certain set of skills and you have a certain set of skills and they come together and they kind of create a little fire and I learn, the teacher learns and we're both fulfilled by that but the young people then also have a new experience. It's supported by training. Do you have a blank canvas and that you can answer the needs and the environment of that school and those young people at this time? Creative schools are very important because for many children, maybe their strongest strength lies in being creative in different aspects of their lives. And often in school, there's more emphasis put on the academic and improving the opportunities for creativity in school makes many children feel maybe more connected to the school and gives them a chance to express themselves. There's a huge breadth to the project in terms of what's possible and there's an immense amount of flexibility within it so that we can really meet the needs of the children. It's just wonderful to see Creative Ireland and the Arts Council come together with Creative Schools Initiative bringing creative learning into the centre of education.